Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are finding the inverse of a three by three matrix using the Gauss-Jordan method. So I personally think that this is the easiest way to find the inverse of a matrix. Basically, all we do is we take our square matrix, let's call it A, and then we kind of just draw a divider line and we create what's kind of like a, a super augmented matrix. And on the right hand side, we write the identity matrix, which is also square. So we're gonna kind of get this really big rectangular uh, matrix. And what we do is we apply elementary row operations and if we're able to successfully reduce A to the identity matrix, then what we originally had on the right hand side as the identity matrix will transform into A's inverse. So if we set this up, it's going to look like this, where we have matrix A on the left hand side and the identity matrix on the right hand side. So what we want to do is we want to use the elementary row operations, get this down to the identity matrix, and we're going to be applying those elementary row operations across this entire row, which is basically six elements wide each time we do this. So first of all, um, let's do row two minus two times row one. And let's also do row three minus row one. So the first row is unaffected and then we get this for the second two rows. And then the next step that we can do would be, let's say adding row two to row one. So we get R1 plus R2. And let's add row three to row two as well. So we get row two plus row three. And the last thing that we need to do is just multiply row two by negative one. Awesome, so we have reduced A to the identity matrix, which means that what we have over on this side is A inverse. And what we wanna do now is just check that A times A inverse is equal to the identity matrix to make sure that we did this correctly and this is in fact the inverse. So we can just set that up here. And when we expand out each element of the product, we're gonna find that this is in fact equal to the identity matrix. So it looks like we've done this correctly. So there you go guys, that is the Gauss-Jordan method and I think this is the fastest way to find inverses of matrices.